That's a breakdown in the business culture. And we haven't seen that team effort coming out of Raleigh, and it's got to change because too many people are suffering right now. Pat McCrory was a seven-term Republican mayor in a city where Republicans are outnumbered three to one. He says teamwork is what helped him build Charlotte into the second largest banking hub in the country, something McCrory says is lacking in Raleigh. We don't have a vision of where we're going in the future while other governors or neighboring state, states are instituting a vision and a strategy to get there. We're, we're kind of living off our past brand. It's a great brand, but it, it needs updating. We need to get our mojo back here in North Carolina. He says one economic fix is a college system that's better suited to putting people to work. McCory recently told the North Carolina Bankers Association students should be learning job skills, not taking golf and history of rock and roll classes. And right now there's a major disconnect. We have an unemployment rate that's the fifth highest in the nation, and yet we have employers who can't find qualified employees. He adds the state is not business friendly. Because our corporate and income tax rate is not even competitive. With, uh, with Virginia or South Carolina, and we're not even in the same league as Tennessee. So you have people who are willing to move a few miles just to escape our high taxation, and we need more efficient government and better customer service. We need to start treating our businesses as customers as opposed to adversaries. His competitor, Walter Dalton, has placed a lot of attention on McCrory not publicly releasing his tax records. McCrory says there are more important matters at hand. I just wish he'd go to the elections board and see the exact records I've submitted which show exactly who has paid me in the private sector. It's all already there, so it's kind of a, a non-issue to me, and I think it's a non-issue to the people. I'd love to have your vote. I'd love to have your vote.